Good morning, STM. I would appreciate your attention for the next few minutes. I just want to um, hopefully correct some, some things as we move forward. So I just wanted to recap the situation that we're in. You know, grade 12 students, you guys never had really a proper um, level of schooling from grade nine all the way up until now. Everybody under grade 12, you're, you're just figuring out how we do things in school. So I'm giving you that like kind of like uh, respect. Like there's, there's a bit of a learning experience, but there are some things that just absolutely need to be corrected around St. Thomas More, and I want to make sure you're all aware of it so that when consequences happen to you, you're not surprised, okay? So number one, you have to respect authority here at St. Thomas More, and, and I'm telling you that being somebody who also respects authority, okay? I'm the principal of the school. That doesn't make me anything. That's just a job. But I have somebody who's above me. She's my superintendent, and I have to respect her authority. Okay, and as a student of the school, you have to respect the authority of the adults around here. And what does that mean? Well, that means that you obviously have to give them your name if they ask you what the, what, who you are, that you have to take their direction as long as it's reasonable. Okay, and, and reasonable directions, get out of the hallway, get in uniform. These are reasonable directions that keep us safe. The third floor is not a place to hang out, things like that. Clear the gym hallway, please. You can't have 10 people in a washroom. These are reasonable things that we've kind of lost during COVID. See, COVID's an interesting thing. It forced certain things to happen and now we're in a bad habit, a bad habit we have to break. During COVID, the only place that you could socialize and take your mask off, if you remember, was the washrooms. Well, I've been a vice principal and principal for quite a while now. Only lately has the washrooms become such a problem. Okay, of course, there have been problems in the washrooms, but they've never been worse than they are right now because during COVID, that was the place you could go and hang out with friends. It is not a place to hang out. And I gotta tell you, I sign suspension letters all the time. I don't wanna say half, but it's probably close to half are things that happen in the washrooms. And there are people that need to use the washroom and they're being used as a hangout. Do not be in the washrooms. Clear the hallways, please. These are basics. Okay, I know the bell rang. I'd ask you to just hang on, please. Secondly, uniform. Now, you guys who were here last week when we had our emergency, I want you to know something. The student who set a fire was not a student of our school. They were not in uniform. You being in uniform keeps the school safe. I knew in my heart that nobody at St. Thomas More would have done that to our school. And that's actually part of the way that I found out who had done it. I started looking for people that were not students. But unfortunately, it's hard to identify them because so many of you are wearing non-uniform sweaters, non-uniform pants, treating every day like a spirit day, Spirit days are Wednesdays. Wear your spirit wear days, on, wear your spirit wear on Wednesdays. But don't wear them every day. You need to be in uniform. It keeps the place safe. As we were evacuating the daycare, okay, you gotta understand that was all caused by a non-uniform intruder at our school who had been here regularly because he could blend in because the uniform is so poorly uh, worn in our hallways. Yes. I know you're an STM student. I know you're not bad kids. I say that all the time. I tell you, teenagers are underrated, but we need to be able to identify who's from our school. Today's probably the worst day in the world to say that. We got 300 wrestlers here, but we'll move on to my final point. Hallways, not hangouts. Hallways are not hangouts. So during your spares and stuff like that, where are you supposed to go? You're supposed to go to the cafeteria. This was a regular occurrence when I was a vice principal here four years ago, but right now it's like, it, it's something that we're not used to. Why? Well, the cafeteria was closed for a really, really long time. And what I'm basically asking you, and one more thing, students, post pandemic, we need to recover. We need to recover academically. We need to recover with our behavior, but I'm telling you, we need to recover academically. Okay, the failure rate has never been higher right now. You guys need to work with your teachers in every way that you possibly can. 
Put your best foot forward in every way. These things that we're teaching you, respect authority, do your best in school, follow rules, these are life lessons. I do these things every day. You know, if you see me on the weekend, I'm gonna be wearing a hooded sweater and a pair of track pants. But you don't see me doing that when I'm in my principal role. Do I have a uniform? No, but I have a professional dress that I need to wear. Everything I'm asking you to do is something that we do every day. We're asking you to do this, but if you don't do it, there's gonna have to be consequences because we need to teach you this. It's not because we want to punish you. We need to teach you this. I'm asking for your cooperation, staff and students, and we just gotta keep making STM better. We've done so many good things this semester to reestablish this place as a great place that we all love. But now we gotta cash in some of that goodwill that we just put in the bank. And we're gonna cash it in by getting better in the classroom and being more disciplined with, with our authority figures. And I'm asking you, but I'm also telling you, because if you, don't, if you choose not to, well then this is your warning. Okay, so with that, I wish you the best. I hope we have a great Friday and a good weekend, St. Thomas More.